So we finished our daytime shooting. We're on our way to catch a sunset. We were seeking out some shade during the day, but now we're actually looking for that beautiful, magical, soft evening light, the magic hour. Out in the distance, you can see some Scots pines, two little families living in beautiful isolation. I think it really captures the wild kind of nature of this project. So I'm heading out into the distance. I'm hoping to find some interesting angles and hopefully we'll get a really great picture. So we've got a bit closer to our destination. That In the distance you can see the Scots Pines. Um, we're hoping to get a really good shot here. I'm concerned though because uh, initially what I wanted to do was to photograph them from an angle similar to this. I've been out here before, um, last September now. It's early April now. I was hoping the vegetation would be up a little bit and there'd start to be a bit of colour on the ground for foreground interest. I'm afraid though it's just a bit barren at the moment and really the magic hour is fast approaching. Um, we have about 45 minutes before the sun sets so we really need to get things moving and find a suitable vista. The sun is setting really fast, but I think I've spotted some great foreground interest in the distance. So, managed to find this spot after a lot of running around. We were concerned about the foreground interest back at the last location. I, was, I really wasn't kind of blown by it, it was a little bit flat. I love these trees, so to do the trees justice, we need to get something to complement them. Now we found this little brook here, and the light from the sky is just settled on it really nicely. There's a beautiful blue glow off it at the moment. Hopefully that's going to turn to pink as the evening progresses. We've got about 15 minutes to sunset. I'm really, really busy at the moment because I just want to get a shot away because the light's actually gorgeous even right now. It might get better, but with these things you just don't know, so you've got to grab it while you can. Okay, so looking at the scene, I can see that our sky is much brighter than our foreground. Now, I know from experience, looking at the scene immediately, that the sky is going to blow out, okay? The camera can't handle that kind of difference in dynamic range. So, in practical terms, how that might manifest itself if you're not a photographer, you've all been on holidays, you've taken snaps of landscapes and you get this whited out sky, okay? So our camera can see detail in a bright area, like the sky, and our foreground, which is in shadow, in the same frame. So, to combat that issue, what we have here is known as a graduated neutral density filter. And basically what the filter does is it puts neutral density on the sky, it takes light out of the sky. So it darkens the sky down and it brings a balance between our sky and our foreground, which allows us to get detail throughout and avoids having this washed out white sky like many of the holiday snaps often will. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have a holder attached to the front of the camera here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that over the sky and create some balance between the elements. Once we actually have it on, then we maneuver the filter up and down into different positions to match the horizon line that we have in front of us. Basically, if you don't have the filter on the sky, the sky is going to go white. So, uh, Dave, my very good cameraman back there, we have a filter actually on that camera at the moment, which is holding in the sky. So, Dave, could you just lift that filter just up and down a bit and just monitor on the back of the screen so we can see the sky getting a little bit white? Okay, so as we lift the filter up and down, we can see the sky brightening. Okay, so you can see in the video there how I'm actually controlling the light in this camera. We're going to hold out here till the last minute 
just in case that sky pops and another shot presents itself. Our lighting setup is a little bit unorthodox for this final shot, but we really waited till the bitter end to get, to get the image um, that we wanted, or another image that we wanted, because to be honest, we got some beautiful light tonight. It was still, there was lovely interest in our foreground, really complimented the Scots Pines in the distance, and we got some really great cloud as well in the sky. So all in all, very successful shoot, really, really happy. Gonna go back to the tent, cook up a bit of food, have a sleep, get up for sunrise, do it all again. <laughs>